Hello everyone, my name is Diego Lopez, Senior Technology Expert at Telefonica Research. Welcome to this video. I'm at the Huawei campus and we will discuss the Telefonica and Huawei joint innovation of SDN on SDN IPv6 and show how we are submitting the use case to the Open Networking Foundation. Following this, Justin Dutzader, CTO and Vice President of Technology Strategy at Huawei, will discuss how SDN IPv6 is being deployed at the Santa Clara Huawei campus and how SDN IPv6 internet access is provided for the network function virtualization second meeting. The transition to IPv6 technologies is gaining momentum on a global basis, basically because of the lack of IPv4 addresses, though there are a number of other technological reasons for transitioning to IPv6. However, IPv6 requires costly end-to-end -end network upgrades and while IPv6 transition tools exist, they introduce a host of new issues. SDN provides a programmable platform for service deployment, which can also be used to reduce the new issues associated with IPv6 transition. We have defined and demonstrated IPv6 transition technologies in a SDN-enabled network. The idea is based on deploying several OpenFlow switches at the edge of the network. Though these OpenFlow switches, currently based on open, OpenBeef switch, have a simple, straightforward extension to support IP in IP tunnels. The OpenFlow switches process the incoming packets based on flow tables delivered by an IPv6 transition app via the SDN controller. This constitutes an example where an application controller interface has been defined to enable the IPv6 transition app to communicate with the SDN controller, bringing a standard interface to instruct the SDN data plane on how to apply IPv6 transition technologies. The abstracted view of the application controller interface for IPv6 transition is shown here. The controller provides an interface to the IPv6 transition app enabling to modify traffic processing using OpenFlow. Specifically, the controller provides an OpenFlow driver that enables the IPv6 transition app to instruct all SDN-enabled equipment how to treat traffic, thus making it possible to flexibly choose the particular transition mechanism to be applied and to select the parameters governing it. The processing shown for this case is generic a flow can be identified by part of the level, layer 2 to layer 4 packet header information and for example all packets to a particular subscriber can be treated as belonging to the same flow in an SDN enabled network. SDN enabled IPv6 transition is a flexible, seamless and future proof solution for IPv6 deployment at any level. 